Why they gave us a save crystal or save site here so early into the dungeon is beyond me, but I am going to, to use it because they gave it to me. Okay, let's continue on. We're it's pretty 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 basic design here. Oh, we do have another new enemy here with a ton of mechanics. I mean, why are they making this so easy on us? Go ahead and try to knock it out. It's a Harumoto Mach 3. Ah, damn it. Why did you auto-target the mechanic? Why? Why? Oh, well, I guess we can take one out. No problem. Yes, take on the Harumoto! And, oh, he keeps defending like a dick. All right, let's let's keep going here. Let's just climb the attack levels, and then eventually we can show off some death blow. Whoever gets the turn. Nope. And then yeah, the mechanic comes in and pretty much heals him all the way up. This is why you want to have the death blow. And then I'm not worried about how much damage he does to me because these mechanics are here to save me. If need be. Uh, we've shown off all of our level 2. So let's go ahead and get up to level 3. She should have 1, I believe. That can be done with 300 damage. Dick. And Rico needs to get up to level 2. Because we've seen all of level 1 stuff. And then... I don't... Oh, we do have 1 for Welltall that we can show off as well. If push comes to shove. Alright. Attack level 3, so... X, the C flash drive. Nice, a thousand damage. Down it goes. I'm gonna let these guys heal me up again, and I'll be right back. All right, that was easy enough. We get a bunch of experience. Ellie levels up, get 170 G, and we can go on our way down the long narrow hallway. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? Oh. This way's a dead end, so that's what I do. We get an O2 cylinder. What is that? Can you equip that on a gear? Yeah. Increases agility and water. No. No, thank you. Oh, I get it. O2, as in oxygen cylinder. Thought it was like number two. It's an actual O, not a zero. Really? A fight right there? And through the door we go. See, it just automatically opens once I'm done with that fight. Maybe it was scripted. Maybe not. I doubt it. Oh, another one of these rooms. Sweet. Scripted battle for the win, kind of. It's, it's these guys again, though. What else do we have? Are you going to throw anything at me that's new? Or particularly interesting? No, it's these guys. And those guys had mechanics with them. Remember, remember. Uh, basically, let let the mechanics heal them up. Don't worry about them. And uh, then unleash a powerful death blow on them. Those guys go down. And then you're just left with mechanics. That'll heal you. So, yeah. Not not too difficult at all. Where do I have to... Do I have to... Is it, are you giving me a jumping puzzle? Oh, no. Okay. There's just an elevator. Onto a conveyor belt. What the hell? Oh, oh, okay. I, I guess I accept that. I can't jump that way. That sucks. But I definitely saw treasure back there. Can't hide it from me. How do I go over there? Jump for it! Damn it! Uh, of course, there's a battle. Yeah, you have to actually get out of the gear. It's weird, isn't it? Why would they make you do that? In this dungeon, where there's only gear-sized enemies except for the mechanics. Receive dexterity R plus three. Sweet! I don't think I need anybody to use that right now. Okay. Well, what you want to do? Put the switch over here and get on the elevator again. And you will see that the conveyor belt has 
started moving the other way, so let's go ahead and jump on that. I didn't realize we need to actually jump to make that small little step, but whatever. Gears cannot handle the conveyor belts. You can actually move around here, but yeah, you know, there's no real point. Let's just go. And it drops us off here. Next room, sweet. Alright, now in this room, there are a few switches. You want to hit the one in the south, is it? I think there's one up to the south. No. Alright, yeah, there. There we go. This one right here. You want to go up, up the little escalator and through the passage to the other side. What do we have over here? Another conveyor belt. And it stopped us right there. Why Why did it stop us right there? What's in this room? I don't trust you. I don't think there's anything here. I don't remember there being anything here. Hold on for one second. Let me just double check. Nope, I checked. There's nothing here. So we'll just continue on. Uh-oh. There's a save point here. That That's not good. That's not good at all. Is there anything in the vents? No. Really? There's always something in the vents. Alright, now if you hit this one over here, this switch on the far side, two chests pop out of the vents. You get a gold nugget. And a mica. Yeah. I did not mean to jump. What is this mica you speak of? I think I got one earlier, but I never never looked to see what it was. It is not an item. Okay. Is it something that the gear can equip? Um, it is. Electric damage down about 30%. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to use the save point and... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're supposed to do after that. Be right back. Alright, I got into a, a fight with mechanics. Healed everybody up with that. And now we want to hit that switch on the southern wall. And that takes us into the next room. And what do we have here? Ugh, another conveyor belt. There's nothing in here. Don't worry about that. Another conveyor belt? Like, really? What are you doing? Okay. What have we got in here? Come on. There's gotta be something big here. It was after a safe point. Oh my god. We've got a sword and shield robot! Oh, it's almost as bad as pots and pans robots. Oh my god, what are we going to do? Luckily, I have the boost R. We're going to use that almost immediately. This is the Fizz 6. That's how I'm going to say it. Fizz. Boost R. And you get an attack in again. Let's go ahead and attack it with our best shot. How much damage does it do? 286. That's not bad. That's not too bad. You need to use a booster as well. Let's just get up to our maximum damage that we can. Only 14 damage because he defended that one. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, the VRG is going to be your fastest robot here. 327 damage. Oh, that's no good. 398 damage, though. I do like that. Let's get up to level 3. Defend it again, the dick. Just going in with everything that we got on this guy. Alright, let's use the flash drive. Over a thousand damage. Nicely done. We need to get up to attack level 3. And I do believe there is one more thing that we can show off. For Faye in the well tall. It used shift up. What? Speed up. That's that's not good. 
Let's just try to build up our attack level again. 187 more damage. Our attack level 3. Let's use Ryu Boo! Nice. 958 though. It's not, it's not even as good as the Vier just won, but I guess that's because of his. Uh, his shift up. I have done that as well. And he comes. How much damage? 475. Good lord, luckily. The steer has a ton of HP. Yeah, the the it's definitely increased its its defense on this quite a bit. You just want to get as much damage in as you can. Let's show off the mega body. We definitely have not had a chance to see this yet. Oh, and he slams it for almost 1,300 damage. Nicely done. All right, your turn. Let's do the flash drive again. Come on, 964. Oh, 680 damage. That's no good. Yeah, you just want to go all out on it as much as you can. Just doing as much damage as you possibly can. Ugh. And down it goes. It didn't even... Uh, wow. Didn't even get a chance to... Huh. It usually gets a, gets a chance to do a second shift up, and then it busts out mechanics, but I got to it too fast. Ugh. All that grinding finally paid off. Down goes Fizz 6. And for that we get a ground. What the hell's a ground? Let's see. I assume that's going to be another one. Yeah. Electric damage down 50% as opposed to 30% from the mica. Wow. So that's that's all done there. So we're done with the Fizz 6. Moving on inside. What do we have in here? Oh, we gotta have our gear. Get a load of this. I can't believe they'd make such a thing. Shall we see if it works? I don't know, Satan. What do you think? I mean, all your plans have worked out so well so far. It would be bad to take it and then not know how to use it and then get caught with it because nobody knew how to send it forward or anything like that. And everybody just kind of staying around? Fine. So they were this close to having it up and operational. This, he, whoa, duh. he didn't want to sell me anything. Can you believe that? Like, this whole time, he's just been like, oh, you should buy crap for me. This time, he's like, no, man, no, this is too epic for me to sell you crap. What's up, Rico? I think we can do this. All right, so we will be doing it next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Xena Gears. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Fei Fong Wong. This has been Ellie Van Houten. This has been Hammer. And this has been Ricardo Banderas and Doc Satanazuki. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.